Hey, readers, guess who? Mr. Laval. Hey, um, good to see you guys again. Hopefully you had a little break in your day and now you're excited to get some reading in. Um, just like in class the last few days, I'd like us to continue to work on reading our Just Right <clears throat> realistic fiction book. Um, we were reading our swindle in class. I know each of you have your own titles and your own books going. Um, our skill that we were working on last week was being able to show comprehension over a longer text like a book like Swindle that has multiple, multiple chapters by breaking it down chapter by chapter and doing chapter summaries, right? If we can pick out the main ideas and the main events that happen in each chapter and take a breath and pause and write those down using our chapter grids. This is Ella's. Thank you, Ella, for letting me use yours. Um, that is a great way for readers to capture the big events of what we're reading about in this and then being able to put that into our long-term memory, being able to use it then for the future, be able to talk to people about our books um, in a little easier fashion because we have really good annotations and really good notes. So I'd like you to continue on with that um, skill of being able to use your chapter grids and doing chapter summaries. When If you don't have this sheet at home, I bet you $100 question of the day, okay, could, how could you make this? And I bet you some of you are thinking right now, Mr. Well, I could totally make this. I could just take a, a piece of paper and draw some lines on it and make this, this form, this tool very easily at home. Uh, maybe you're going to put this in your notebook, but um, the end goal would be to record your thinking chapter by chapter, making sure that you're picking out the main events what's happening to the characters, what's happening um, that's important to note, so you're able to use this for long-term comprehension. So um, that's our job for the week, is to work on our chapter grids of your realistic fiction books that you're reading. Happy reading, fourth graders.